In this video, we're going to do a project update on the G.I. Joe working train set. We're going to look at the work on the engine, the turret car progress, and the transport car progress. So overall, the engine is pretty much done. I first relocated the, um, the power switch over to the side. That opened up a lot of space inside the body. As you can see there, I cut some doors in the top to allow access for figures. And then I did a first um, mock-up of the seating, trying to figure out how much room the figures would take up, how much room the seating would take up, and how much room that would leave. So here you can see Beachhead in the mocked-up seat, which is really rough, and I ran into problems like his knees getting stuck, making it hard for him to pull the uh, hard for it to pull the figure out. So I made some modifications to the final. Um, you can see some like lines and markups there, where I'm going to do a secondary model of that. And so this is the more final design. It's a little more rounded out. There's space for the knees to come out. The seats are a little more refined. And there's also room in the back for like storage, but also um, for a third character to stand in the back and work sort of a, uh, a turret in the back and a door. That was inspired by the warthog, the, uh, the access panels there, the, the hatches, but also kind of that, that turret that let the character kind of look through those portals. And so here you can see that modeled up and mocked up, and this is pretty much finished. Also with a lid to cover up over the, the, uh, the drivers. The turret car is also pretty much done. So I ended up 3D modeling that and getting away from the cardboard, but using the cardboard as a good, um, a good you know, like approximation of the size and, and the feeling that I wanted. Here you can see the, uh, the turret being printed out. Then I printed out the, the sides and the body. Those came out a little bit warped, uh, ran into some problems with those. So I decided to do a second pass, building a little more structure inside to give the, uh, the prints more support. And you can see here, it, it looks a lot straighter. And then the final prints, you know, I'm curing them in the sun. There you can see some of that structure. That gives it a bit of strength, but it's still kind of thin, so it didn't use a lot of resin. And um, I did have to print it in two pieces, so I ended up hot gluing those parts together. But in the end, I'm really excited about this. This looks like a really fun, playable car. And uh, that with the engine, is, it just got almost half the train done, so that's pretty exciting. And then the last car I've been working on is the transport car. So this is based on the crane, uh, the original crane car that let the crane turn. I decided to use this as the turntable for the um, the the transport kind of like platform, so the platform could rotate like in the uh, the original Hasbro mock-up where um, the car would kind of rotate and let the uh, the vehicle come out. And then I'm kind of making it to work with this armadillo. Um, Joe Muller Works sent me this. It's an RC armadillo, which is amazing. And here you can see the panel uh, working. I didn't. I print this out in. Um, in resin this is FDM so it's a little stronger and there I created kind of like a two-part ramp system that lowers down so the as you can see there the the platform rotates and then the ramp comes down and then the uh, the armadillo kind of slides down I've got to figure out if I need to make the ramp a little bit longer so it's not so steep but also put some kind of um, you know treads or traction on there so the uh, the vehicle gets more grip and then here I put the awe striker on here uh, just to make sure that like a you know a vamp or the uh, the awe striker could also fit on there and if it's pretty good so pretty excited about this this is one of the more like dynamic kind of uh, pieces and I'm happy with the way the like structure works and and all that kind of stuff and and it works with this this kind of crane car the original crane car because those kind of hydraulic um, support um, legs kind of move out and give it that extra support when the vehicle is rolling off so that's kind of nice so that's pretty much it that's the progress a lot of like the tough stuff is behind me now now I just have to do the kind of artillery um, missile uh, car so I've gotten rid of the idea of doing the cannon so I'm going to do the missiles next and that should be just fun um, kind of like the turret one but not as big and not as difficult so Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Hope you guys are still excited about this project. I surely am. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. And yo, Joe.